Hello, hello, crochet friends. Here is Julie from Indigo Handmade Design. Welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet this gorgeous boho cardigan made out of yarn scraps and leftovers. This cardigan is very easy to make, it's a fast working project and the best is you can turn it inside out to have more a messy boho look. The materials that we are going to use are yarn scraps and yarn leftovers, a 5mm crochet hook, stitch markers and a pair of scissors. The yarn that I'm using is acrylic yarn category 3. So if you don't have yarn scraps like I do, to prepare your magic ball, you need to cut all of your leftovers into small pieces. So like this, it doesn't matter how long they are, just Cut them into pieces. So once you have your yarn scraps done, go ahead and tie them together like this. Just knot them together and then go ahead and make a ball out of this. Okay, so to start your cardigan, go ahead and chain a total of 26. I've already made my chain, so this is our foundation chain. I'm working in one color just to start the tutorial. So this way you are going to see better what I'm making. Now yarn over and we are going to make one double crochet in the fourth chain. Like so so now you have two double crochets so this chain three counts as a double crochet now make one double crochet in the next two chains chain one without skipping make one double crochet in the next four chains chain one and this is going to be your pattern repeat till the end of the first row so you have four double crochet and chain one in between okay so first row done now we are going to start our second round and each time we reach this one chain space we are going to increase and also we are going to increase at the beginning at, at the end of the row now chain three this counts as your first double crochet turn your work and make one double crochet in the same stitch so this one here is your very first stitch now one double crochet in each double crochet from the previous row till you reach your one chain space and in this one chain space we are going to increase so make one double crochet one chain and one double crochet all in the same one chain space and now work one double crochet in each double crochet from the previous round so from the previous row 
and now again you have this one chain space you are going to make one double crochet chain one and another double crochet in the same space and this is going to be your pattern repeat till the end of the row now again increase double crochet in each double crochet and again you have this one chain space you are going to make one double crochet one chain and one double crochet in there and again one double crochet in each double crochet from the previous row and here you have your chain so you are going to increase your work again and now one double crochet in each double crochet from the previous row and here you have your three chains so in there you are going to make in your third chain two double crochets like so to start your next row just chain three is your first double crochet turn your work and make one double crochet in the very first stitch so we are increasing our first stitch and now work one double crochet in each double crochet And now you have your one chain space increase again like so and this is going to be your pattern repeat so work like this till you have a total of 20 double crochet rows and then meet me back to show you how to split for the sleeves and how to work the rest of the cardigan if you need a a bigger size you need to make more rows and for a smaller size work less rows okay so once you have your 20 rows done or as many as you need for your size go ahead and take your stitch markers and take your first and your second increase and like them like this together and also on the other side so your fourth and your fifth increase also you are going to lay them together and then take your stitch marker and secure so in here and also on the other side okay and now we are going to start our next row so your third increase is on the back of your cardigan now to start your row go ahead and chain three this counts as your first double crochet and from now on we are not going to increase anymore on the front panels so the next double crochet it's going to be in your next double crochet from the previous row and then make one double crochet in each stitch till you reach your first stitch marker and once you're there you are going to crochet 
your last double crochet in the stitch and then another one in your one chain space like this and then go on the back side of your cardigan and make one double crochet in your one chain space and then one double crochet in each stitch across so this is your sleeve opening And then once you've reached your increase on the back side of your cardigan, you are going to make your increase as usual. So, and then work your second sleeve. So one double crochet in each chain on the back and on the front side and then one double crochet in each stitch across and when you're at the end of the row you are not going to increase anymore so on the front panels start with the chain three and then the next double crochet in the next stitch and increases only on the back side Okay, so work like this till you reach your desired length. I'm going to work 23 rows in total. And then meet you back for the sleeves. Okay, so I've worked my rows. And now we are going to rejoin. So take your yarn, make a slip knot and attach with a single crochet or a slip stitch right here in this one chain space. Then chain two, this is going to be your first double crochet and then work one double crochet in each double crochet till the end of your first round. So the sleeve is going to be worked in the rounds. And once you're at the end of the round, so put your double crochet in your one chain space. And now we want to close this gap. Go ahead and make one double crochet right in the middle of your work to close your gap. And now slip stitch in your third chain to close your first round and then chain three to step up and work one double crochet in each double crochet and work like this for a total of 13 rows okay so i want to have my sleeve flared and for this after working your 13 rounds of double crochets we are going to make one row of increases so chain three to step up and then in the next stitch make two double crochets one double crochet in your next stitch and then again one increase so two double crochets in the next stitch okay so this is going to be your pattern repeat till the end of the round so you are increasing each other stitch 
And then once you're at the end of the round, go ahead and slip stitch in your third chain to close your round. And then to finish your sleeve, go ahead and work 12 more rounds. So you have first your 13 rounds, then one increase round, and then another 12 rounds after making your increase round. Okay, so to finish the cardigan, we are going to work one row of half double crochet all around the sleeve. So one half double crochet in each stitch and then also all around our cardigan. So I'm working with one color and it's also a category three yarn and my five millimeter crochet hook. So make a slip knot and reattach your yarn to your very first stitch with a slip stitch or with a single crochet and then in each double crochet row you are going to make two half double crochets and in each stitch you are going to make one half double crochet okay so work like this and once you're at the end of the round you are going to slip stitch in your very first stitch then chain one, cut your yarn and you're good to go. Your cardigan is done. So my lovely crochet friends, I'm at the end of my tutorial. I hope this was helpful. And you've enjoyed it if you have any questions don't hesitate to leave me a comment down below this video thank you all for watching and for joining me today and I see you soon with a new tutorial bye bye